In this problem, we need to find all solutions in the interval 0 degrees to 360 degrees, so I know I have to be in degrees, and I need to find solutions to this equation here. It also says round to the nearest tenth, which most probably means I'm going to have to use my calculator. So let's look at my equation. The tangent of theta is negative 0.85. So what we have to do is, is this value on the unit circle? No. So I'm going to have to use my calculator and I'm going to have to use my inverse tangent function on the calculator of negative 0.85. So I have to type this into my calculator. So let me find my calculator and turn it on. Check the mode. I'm in degrees. So now all I have to do is type in inverse tangent of negative, not subtract, negative 0 0.85. Close parentheses, hit enter and here's my answer the calculator gives me. Round it to the nearest tenth, this six is going to round that three up to a four. So it's going to be negative 40.4 degrees. So let me write that over here. So I have theta is negative 40.4 degrees. Now is that in my interval? No. Why did the calculator give me that answer? Remember, the definition of the inverse trig functions, the inverse tangent anyway, says my answer has to lie between negative pi over 2, otherwise known as negative 90, and positive 90. So since the tangent function was negative, it can't be in quadrant 1 because the tangent's positive there, the answer will be in quadrant 4. So it gives me an answer in quadrant 4, but unfortunately this angle does not lie between 0 and 360. So remember the angle that I found was this angle rotating in a negative direction. So how am I going to find the angle rotating around in the positive direction? Well, that's just coterminal angles, and how do we find coterminal angles? We add 360 to them. So I have negative 40.4 degrees plus 360 is going to give me the angle that rotates around in this direction. So theta equals 319.6 degrees. So now I've got one solution that lies in the range that I want. But now, can the tangent be negative in another quadrant? Well, remember the mnemonic, all students take calculus. The tangent is positive in 1 and 3, so it's negative in 2 and 4. I found the quadrant 4 angle, I need to go back, and now I need to find a quadrant angle. How am I going to do that? I'm going to use reference angles, just like I've done with all the other ones. So if I have an angle down here, negative 40.4 degrees, what's the reference angle? What's the acute angle this terminal side makes with the x-axis? Well, it's this angle. And remember, reference angles are always positive, so what's the reference angle is 40.4 degrees. The reason we found this is the reference angle for the angle in quadrant 4 is equal to the reference angle of the angle in quadrant 2. So to find my angle in quadrant 2, you draw your angle. I need to find that angle theta but I know my reference angle is the same as this one up here is 40.4 degrees. So how am I going to get theta? Well, theta plus 40.4 is 180. So theta is going to be 180 minus 40.4 degrees. So what is my angle I'm looking for in quadrant 2? 139 0.6 degrees. So those are my two answers of angles that lie between 0 and 360 whose tangent is negative 0 0.85. And now what we can do at the very end is just check our work on the calculator, 
find the tangent of each of these angles. So the tangent of 319.6 degrees is negative 0 0.8510 dot dot dot. Because I rounded this intermediate value, this won't give you exactly the number we started with, but is this very close to that? Yes. So now let's check our other answer here, 139.6. What is the tangent of 139.6? Whoops. Did I get it right? Yes, both of those tangents of those angles gave me approximately negative 0 0.85.